Rick Tremonto has been making culinary waves in Chicago for several years. So has his wife, Gail, a talented pastry chef. At taping time, they were both a trio in Evanston. They have subsequently opened Brasserie Tea in Northfield. Chef Tremonto presents this first course, wild rice risotto. The chef will use both arborio and wild rice. The method for each is the same. So we're going to saute some onions and some garlic. And we're going to put some arborio rice in here. Arborio is short grain rice, often used in risotto. We're going to coat the arborio with the onions and the garlic and the olive oil. More olive oil is added. We're going to hit it with some chicken stock. Just about enough to cover and let that start to absorb. And we're going to do that three times. We're going to do the same with our wild rice. Wild rice has nothing to do with rice. It's a water-growing grain. The wild rice simmers until all the stock is absorbed. Then both rices are cooled. Before service, the cooked rices are combined with the other ingredients. How about I lay these ingredients down that we're going to use? Blanched asparagus, chopped herbs, Parmesan cheese, butter, wild mushrooms. The rices go into boiling chicken stock. It's equal parts blanched wild rice and arborio rice. some chanterelles, some shiitakes, some kermini mushrooms. We're going to add the mushrooms. Blanched asparagus. Some butter. Some of the porcini broth, which is a wild mushroom. Porcini is an Italian mushroom that's usually sold dried. The broth is a result of rehydrating the mushrooms. Parmesan cheese. Some heavy whipped cream. We use whipped cream because it's a lot lighter than just throwing in plain dense cream. Just kind of fold that in. Oh, 
there's a little too much liquid in here, so I'm going to throw in a little bit more wild rice to absorb that. tomato right at the very end. The risotto is presented in a small saucepan. Shave Parmesan cheese. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Thank you.